fallacies in your argument are quite overwhelming. You say matter can neither, neither be created nor destroyed. Well, okay, that is a scientific um, hypothesis. So, let's look at it this way. When the Big Bang happened, I think it happened like maybe 10, 12 billion years ago. It all spread out. Well, because of gravity, there's a chance that it might come back and contract. And then when it all becomes compressed to a certain point, it explodes outward again. This could happen forever, and we could be somewhere in that forever right now, in this period of time. Now other people argue that antimatter would uh, prevent this eventual constriction from happening again. I'm not a cosmologist. However, I think your argument is weak. Very weak. For entirely different reasons. Basically, you're making the uh, argument for the god of the gaps. Something modern science can't explain. So, um, you attribute it to God. And basically, try to stop inquiry there. Stephen Hawking's, um, if you look him up and read his works, you'll find that he's addressed um, the Big Bang, like the seconds, first few seconds of the Big Bang, and then he's basically trying to go back beyond that. But he was uh, told by the Pope not to, because that is the moment of creation when everything begins, and that's God's territory. That's the basic problem with uh, religion. Religion uh, always wants to say, this knowledge is forbidden. Um, but das ist verboten, you know. Because if you get to this point and you manage to explain this, well, we're not going to have a leg left to stand on. And science has been um, cutting the legs off the spider of religion for a long time now. There's probably only two or three legs left. Um, Genesis is obviously not intact anymore. The evidence is overwhelming uh, in favor of evolution. Um, the creation of Earth in Genesis has been clearly knocked down time and time again. Uh, Noah's Ark has been geologically proven impossible. You're just running out of legs to stand on, and your god of the gaps keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. However, uh, <clears throat> the science is out there. I mean, you can clearly, clearly find that on your own. Um, as far as cosmology, astronomy goes, it's all free, available on the net. All you have to do, evolution too, all you got to do is be willing to type in some words to Google and find the PDF files yourself and read them and be able to understand them. That's very important. I mean, you might have to uh, reference a dictionary from time to time or buy a biology textbook or astronomy textbook. It's hard work understanding how things really are. I mean, it's easy. It's easy to say God did it. God did it, because then you don't have to ask questions. Of course, technology doesn't advance, science doesn't adva advance, our way of life, you know, doesn't improve, because God did it. Let's just leave everything to God. So I'm not really going to address that when the science is out there, and, y you know, you can find this stuff out for yourself if you're willing to learn, but you have to be willing to learn. Um, and I personally don't know you. I don't know if you're willing to learn. Um, I don't know if you're willing to do anything other than just read your same old tired book written by Bronze Age tribesmen over and over. But, yeah, I want to move on to some other uh, slightly provocative things you said that I, I prefer to address. I really do. But yeah, there's no way to argue this. Wow, there's that's no, there's an nothing else. extremely there's else arrogant, arrogant I got you cornered. said. You can oh. comment on this and you can say, oh, you're a fool because uh, I don't believe in God. But, uh, you know, you maybe have to change your beliefs a bit. You need Some to go to college. Some people don't want to believe in God because that makes them accountable to their creator. And, uh, well, I'll let you deal with it. Check out my other videos if you want to 
now learn, you know, what God expects of you and how to, you know, restore a relationship with Him. I'd be happy to take you through it. All right then. Okay, this is what I figure you're referring to um, when you talk about the things God expects out of us. Do not worship any other gods. Do not make any idols. Do not misuse the name of God. Keep the Sabbath holy. Honor your father and mother. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not covet. Um, that's not quoted in their entirety. Um, I don't see anywhere in the Ten Commandments the fact that we have to unquestionably believe in the uh, in God. Where where is that said? Or are, are you going to cherry pick the um, Old and New Testaments for what you think um, God expects out of us? Um, because that's usually what you guys do. Uh, so, so please, um, can you sum it up in under five minutes and post a video reply? And I'm going to assume that you won't uh, actually allow me to post this as a video response. So what I'm going to do is um, just post it on my site and then in the comments section I will put a link to your video and hopefully uh, uh, things will sync up from there. So, uh, sarah, sarah. Guns, women, and Irish whiskey.